Welcome to the Trump Breaking News Network, your daily source for up to the minute Trump news. Join us today and every day. Here's today's news. This is TBNN. White House blasts false AP report that 100,000 troops will round up illegal aliens. By Tyler Durden. AP reported that according to a draft 11 page memo, the Trump administration is considering mobilizing as many as 100,000 National Guard troops to round up illegal immigrants. However, the White House quickly slammed the agency's report as false. In yet another leak counter leak example of spot the fake news, moments after the AP report hit, the White House denied everything. This is not true. DHS also confirms it is 100% false deed.co web link. Sean Spicer, at Press Sec, February 17, 2017. As reported earlier, see below, the AP said an unprecedented militarization of immigration enforcement would affect locations as far north as Portland, Oregon and as far east as New Orleans, Louisiana, according to the 11-page document, purportedly written by Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly. The proposal would force states bordering on Mexico, Arizona, California, New Mexico and Texas, as well as the seven neighboring states of Arkansas, Colorado, Louisiana, Nevada, Oklahoma, Oregon, and Utah. Governors in the 11 states would have a choice whether to have their guard troops participate in the roundup, according to AP. But the White House responded to the news with only one word, false, according to Reuters. From White House on at AP report to our at Patrick Terpstra. False. There is some forthcoming implementation guidance and nowhere is this in it. Pick.twitter.com web link. Justin Gray, at Gray Justin, February 17, 2017. Some have speculated that if indeed the AP report is false, it may be an attempt by the White House to ferret out the source of the leak. So until we wait to learn if that is the case, to those who are still trying to make sense of what news is real and fake at this point, we wish them the best luck. Earlier. In what was shaping up to be a relatively drama-free day, moments ago the AP reported that the Trump administration is considering the mobilization of as many as 100,000 National Guard troops to round up unauthorized immigrants. The move is part of an alleged surge in detention of illegal immigrants, as discussed last weekend. A draft memo reportedly obtained by the Associated Press outlines a Trump administration proposal under consideration to mobilize as many as 100,000 National Guard troops to round up unauthorized immigrants, including millions living nowhere near the Mexico border. If implemented, the impact could be significant. Nearly one half of the 11.1 million people residing in the U.S. without authorization live in the 11 states. According to Pew Research Center estimates based on 2014 census data, assuring it will be the most discussed topic over the coming long weekend, the 11 page document calls for the unprecedented militarization of immigration enforcement as far north as Portland, Oregon, and as far east as New Orleans, Louisiana. Four states that border on Mexico are included in the proposal California, Arizona, New Mexico, and Texas but it also encompasses seven states contiguous to those four, Oregon, Nevada, Utah, Colorado, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and Louisiana. According to the AP, governors in the 11 states would have a choice whether to have their guard troops participate, according to the memo, written by U.S. Homeland Security Secretary John Kelly, a retired four-star Marine general. While National Guard personnel have been used to assist with immigration-related missions on the U.S.-Mexico border before, they have never been used as broadly or as far north. The memo is addressed to the then-acting heads of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement and U.S. Customs and Border Protection. It would serve as guidance to implement the wide-ranging executive order on immigration and border security that President Donald Trump signed January 25. Such memos are routinely issued to supplement executive orders. Also dated January 25, the draft memo says participating troops would be authorized to perform the functions of an immigration officer in relation to the investigation, apprehension and detention of aliens in the United States. It describes how the troops would be activated under a revived state-federal partnership program, 
and states that personnel would be authorized to conduct searches and identify and arrest any unauthorized immigrants. Requests to the White House and the Department of Homeland Security for comment and a status report on the proposal were not answered. The draft document has circulated among DHS staff over the last two weeks. As recently as Friday, staffers in several different offices reported discussions were underway. Use of National Guard troops would greatly increase the number of immigrants targeted in one of Trump's executive orders last month, which expanded the definition of who could be considered a criminal and therefore a potential target for deportation. That order also allows immigration agents to prioritize removing anyone who has committed acts that constitute a chargeable criminal offense. Under current rules, even if the proposal is implemented, there would not be immediate mass deportations. Those with existing deportation orders could be sent back to their countries of origin without additional court proceedings. But deportation orders generally would be needed for most other unauthorized immigrants. According to AP, the troops would not be nationalized, remaining under state control. When contacted by AP, spokespeople for the governors of Arizona, Utah, Nevada, California, Colorado, Oklahoma, Oregon and New Mexico said they were unaware of the proposal, and either declined to comment or said it was premature to discuss whether they would participate. The proposal would extend the federal local partnership program that President Barack Obama's administration began scaling back in 2012 to address complaints that it promoted racial profiling. The 287G program, which Trump included in his immigration executive order, gives local police, sheriff's deputies and state troopers the authority to assist in the detection of immigrants who are in the U.S. illegally as a regular part of their law enforcement duties on the streets and in jails. The draft memo also mentions other items included in Trump's executive order, including the hiring of an additional 5,000 border agents, which needs financing from Congress, and his campaign promise to build a wall between the U.S. and Mexico. The signed order contained no mention of the possible use of state National Guard troops. According to the draft memo, the militarization effort would be proactive, specifically empowering Guard troops to solely carry out immigration enforcement, not as an add-on the way local law enforcement is used in the program. We are confident, however, that most liberal Americans will not see it that way. Allowing Guard troops to operate inside non-border states also would go far beyond past deployments. In addition to responding to natural or man-made disasters or for military protection of the population or critical infrastructure, state Guard forces have been used to assist with immigration-related tasks on the U.S.-Mexico border, including the construction of fences. In the mid-2000s, President George W. Bush twice deployed Guard troops on the border to focus on non-law enforcement duties to help augment the Border Patrol as it bolstered its ranks. And in 2010, then-Arizona Governor Jan Brewer announced a border security plan that included Guard reconnaissance, aerial patrolling and military exercises. In July 2014, then Texas Governor Rick Perry ordered 1,000 National Guard troops to the border when the surge of migrant children fleeing violence in Central America overwhelmed U.S. officials responsible for their care. The Guard troops' stated role on the border at the time was to provide extra sets of eyes but not make arrests. Bush initiated the federal 287G program, named for a section of a 1996 immigration law to allow specially trained local law enforcement officials to participate in immigration enforcement on the streets and check whether people held in local jails were in the country illegally. I strained and certified roughly 1,600 officers to carry out those checks from 2006 to 2015. The memo describes the program as a highly successful force multiplier that identified more than 402,000 removable aliens. But federal watchdogs were critical of how DHS ran the program, saying it was poorly supervised and provided insufficient training to officers, including on civil rights law. Obama phased out all the arrest power agreements in 2013 to instead focus on deporting recent border crossers and immigrants in the country legally who posed a safety or national security threat.
Trump's immigration strategy emerges as detentions at the nation's southern border are down significantly from levels seen in the late 1990s and early 2000s. Last year, the arrest tally was the fifth lowest since 1972. Deportations of people living in the U.S. illegally also increased under the Obama administration, though Republicans criticized Obama for setting prosecution guidelines that spared some groups from the threat of deportation, including those brought to the U.S. illegally as children. As reported last week, according to initial reports, ICE officers arrested more than 680 people around the country in what Kelly said were routine, targeted operations. Advocates called the action stepped up enforcement under Trump. That's the news. Join us here every day. Be sure to subscribe and click the bell. See you next time. This is TBNN.